Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to explore how to use proxies in C Sharp for all your web scraping projects. Using proxies is crucial for protecting your identity, avoiding IP bans, and bypassing geo blocking. Let's dive in and see how you can easily implement proxies in your C Sharp applications. Why use proxies? When you access the internet directly, your IP address is exposed, leading to potential online tracking and targeted advertising. Proxies act as intermediaries between your computer and the internet, masking your IP address to protect your digital identity. For web scraping, proxies help you circumvent IP bans and access restricted content. Prerequisites. Before we begin, make sure you have Visual Studio 2022 or Visual Studio Code.NET 7 or newer HTML Agility Pack NuGet package. You'll need to create two console applications, Web Scrap App and Web Scrap Bright Data. Install the HTML Agility Pack NuGet package in both projects. Setting up a local proxy. For this tutorial, we'll use the open source proxy, MITM Proxy. Download and install MITM Proxy from the official site. Once installed, launch MITM Proxy using the command MITM Proxy. To test the proxy, use a curl request in another terminal, like this one. You should see the weather report for Dunedin, confirming the proxy is working. Web Scraping in C Sharp We'll set up the Web Scrap app for web scraping using proxies and proxy rotation. Create an HTTP client configured to route requests via a specific proxy server following these steps. Next, implement proxy rotation, which helps reduce the risk of detection and IP bans during web scraping. Validate proxies. Once the proxy rotation is done, define a proxy checker class for validating a list of proxy servers as shown here. Create a web scraper class to handle the actual data scraping. Web scraper class. Next, you need to define the web scraper class, which extracts links and titles from HTML content. In this code, you define the web scraper, which encapsulates web scraping functionality. When you call the scrape data method, you provide it with a proxy rotator instance and a target URL. Inside this method, you use an HTTP client to make an asynchronous GET request to the URL, retrieve the HTML content, and parse it using the HTML Agility Pack library. Then you employ XPath queries to locate and extract links and corresponding titles from specific HTML elements. If any article links are found, you print their titles and absolute URLs. Otherwise, you print a message indicating no links were found. Integrate components in program.cs. After configuring the proxy rotation mechanism and implementing web scraping functionality, you need to seamlessly integrate these components into the application's primary entry point, which is typically found in program.cs. Program class. Use the code example provided to initialize proxies, create a proxy rotator instance, and scrape data from Wikipedia. Running the Web Scrap app. To run the Web Scrap app, open a terminal in the root directory and execute. Using Bright Data Proxy. Bright Data offers a network of proxy services available across 195 locations. This network integrates the Bright Data Proxy rotation feature, systematically alternating between servers to enhance web scraping effectiveness and security. Using this rotating proxy system diminishes the risk of IP bans or blocks typically encountered during web scraping tasks. First, you'll need to set up an account with Bright Data. Head over to the Bright Data website and sign up for a free trial account. Now that you have your Bright Data account, sign in and click on the location icon on the left. This will take you to proxies and scraping infrastructure. Here, click on add and select residential proxies. Keep the default names and click Add again to create the proxy. You should now see your proxy credentials, which include a host, port, username, and password. Make sure to save these credentials in a safe place because you'll need them later. Bright Data Proxy Configurator class. Use the code example provided to configure the HTTP client with Bright Data Proxy credentials. Web Content Scraper class. Next, follow along to define the Web Content Scraper class for scraping data using the Bright Data Proxy. Now, scrape Wikipedia again and see how Bright Data improves access and anonymity. Update the program.cs class file with the following code. Visualizing proxy usage. To see the effect of using a Bright Data Proxy, 
update the web content scraper to scrape loomtest.com slash myip.json. This confirms a proxy is working by displaying the proxy server's IP and location. In this tutorial, you learn how to use proxies in C Sharp for web scraping. While local proxies are useful, Bright Data provides a scalable and reliable solution with its extensive proxy network and rotation features. Enhance your web scraping projects with Bright Data for efficient and anonymous data collection. All the code in this tutorial is available in the GitHub repository linked below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Until next time, happy scraping.